la vie, it's your girl Lamar here. Welcome back to my channel, Love Love Lloyd. If you're new here, welcome. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can join the fam. And also turn on your notification bell so you can be notified when I start to upload new videos. So lovies, let's get right into it. There's a few things I want to talk about. And the first thing is the simple fact that Lizzo felt the need to make a statement for the backlash that she received because she decided to do a 10-day smoothie detox. And as you know, I would normally be so afraid and ashamed to post things like this online because I feel like as a big girl, people just expect if you are doing something for health, you're doing it for like a dramatic weight loss. And that is not the case. Um, in reality, November stressed me the fuck out. I drank a lot. I ate a lot of spicy things and things that fucked my stomach up. And I wanted to reverse it and get back to where I was. I'm so proud of myself. I'm proud of my results. Um, my sleep has improved, my hydration, my inner peace, my mental stability, my fucking body, my fucking skin, the whites of my eyes. Like, I feel and look like a bad bitch. And I think, like, that's it. I'm a big girl who did a smoothie detox. And I wanted to share that with you guys. I got exactly what I wanted out of it. And every big girl should do whatever the fuck they want with their bodies. Now... I must say that um, the only people who really had a problem with this was, I mean, I have to say it, her fat fans. And I'm not fat shaming or anything of the sort. But my thing is, when Lizzo came out, I knew Lizzo for her talent. Yes, obviously, you can see that she's a big girl. But that first performance, that's what mesmerized me. Not her fatness. Her talent that she had. Society started making everything about Lizzo's weight. I don't know why. And then, I mean, Lizzo definitely played a part in it. But for the most part, every time uh, Lizzo had an uh, interview, it was never about her actual talent. It was always about, well, why the hell are you so goddamn confident? And I just wanted to clarify what I meant. They would want to know why she's so confident as a big girl, as if being confident within yourself, no matter the size, is an actual problem. Had she just been fat and didn't have that talent, nobody would have been listening to Lizzo. But we listen to Lizzo because we're like, oh, she's popping. That's why. Why are you guys boxing her into fat? You are fat. That's what you are. No, she's a human being. And she's allowed to do whatever she wants to do with her body. If she decides that she wants to lose all the fat on her body and be a slim, healthier Lizzo, um, what is the problem? And it was a little cringing for me when she said, I'm a fat girl. No, you're Lizzo. Never in a million years, I don't give a damn if I'm 250 pounds. Never in a million years am I going to say, oh, I'm a fat girl and claim that. No, I'm a Mara. That's who I am right now. I may be a little bit on the heavier side, but I'm Amara at the end of the day. I'm not fat Amara, I'm not skinny Amara, I'm Amara. And that's what Lizzo is. And I think that people need to stop looking at Lizzo for her weight and, and remember that this girl actually has talent. And I mean, like I said, Lizzo definitely played a part in the way we see her, but for the most part, I look at Lizzo and I know that she has talent and it's just a little shaming that an actual artist has to tell their fans sorry or explain to their fans why they decide to do something healthy for themselves. Do you like her because she's fat or do you like her because she's talented? Which one is it? You pick. But let's move right on along. Essa Bryan responds to her mother's attempt to take her to court for five million dollars. She wants to live off my daughters and me for the rest of her life. So Vanessa says, my mother is continuing to try and find ways to extort a financial windfall from our family. I have supported her for nearly 20 years and she was never my or Kobe's personal assistant nor was she a nanny. I have always been a stay at home mother and my husband and I were our daughter's full time caregivers. For nearly two decades we arranged for my mother to live in our nearby properties at no cost to her because she had claimed that she didn't have any money to buy her own home after her divorce. 
My husband and I felt it was best for her not to live in our home. She washed our girls from time to time, just like most grandparents do. She did not take care of business issues or expenses. She was a grandmother who was supported by me and her son-in-law at my request. She now wants to back charge me $96 per hour for supposedly working 12 hours a day for 18 years for watching her grandchildren. In reality, she only occasionally babysat my older girls when they were toddlers. As of 10 years ago, our kids were full-time students and athletes and I didn't have another child until 2016. Her claims are obviously false, but I still tried repeatedly to work things out with my mother. Contrary to what she's saying, I haven't left my children's side since the accident except to visit the cemetery to make arrangements. Earlier this year, I was looking for a new home for her and a week later, she went on television and gave an interview disparaging our family and making false accusations while living rent-free in a gated apartment complex in nearby coast. Even after the betrayal, I was willing to provide my mother with monthly support for the rest of her life and that wasn't good enough. She instead contacted me through contrary, whoop, Contrary to what she claims, my phone number hasn't changed and demanded five million a house and Mercedes SUV. Hmm. Y'all, I don't know. This is bad. This this is bad. What I honestly have to say that Vanessa's mother sounds like a money hungry ass. This woman's husband and child passed away. The husband that's even allowing you to not even struggle, not worry about struggling. And instead of you focusing on nurturing your child back to happiness because you know she's grieving, you want to drain her more financially? I'm disgusted. You're a mother. What type of mother does something like this? Because she says that, okay, you can't no longer stay in this home. I'll put you in an apartment or I'll put you wherever she wants to put you. She's putting you there and you have, you're living rent free. Your daughter is taking care of you, full care of you. That's not good enough. I'm not in her shoes, so I don't know how she's feeling, but I know if I were her, I think I would wash my hands with you. Like, I would cut all ties with you. Of course, I would still want to make sure that my mother is good, because this is my mother, but no communication with you at all because this is like disgusting behavior and it shows that you just lack morals and you really don't have that nurturing motherly unconditional love for your child it seems like you're just focused on the money now kobe isn't alive anymore so you're going to try to you know break vanessa's bank because you want to be in control you're disgusting you're disgusting that's all i'm gonna say because you're you know you're my elderly i don't want to disrespect the elderly so i'm just gonna move right along i'm gonna move right along okay okay let's get right into it so i've never posted a video like this because this has never happened to me in my entire career this is rich kid he has eight million followers he hired me to do a cover and now he refuses to pay me at the start of the project, I asked if he had any direction. He wanted to give me complete freedom. This is our messages. I went ahead and created four different variations of graphics for him. After days, he finally gets back to me, tells me he wants to change it, but doesn't tell me what he wants to change it to. Instead of giving me art direction, he just tells me to listen to the song again. So instead of going in this blind again, I send him references and he tells me to just do the cover art to him and don't send him any concepts. So I go ahead and create three more graphics, he likes it, and now he refuses to pay me. And now he's just liking my messages where I'm asking him to pay me. I even reached out to his label and they don't even manage him anymore. During this entire process, I was extremely professional and patient with him. He hired me to do a service and I did my part. It's like if I hired someone to paint my house, told them they could pick any color they want, they paint it, and then I'm like, oh, I don't like that color, I'm not gonna pay you. 
It's just not how you do business. Told your goofy ass ain't like the cover art. And I did not want to use this, the trash ass shit you said to me. <laughs> Nobody paying for a dinner if the waiter brought the wrong order. I still gave you a dusty ass. <laughs> you people is retarded. And on top of that, nobody ain't paying you 1K for no cover, you fool. <laughs> Every other day, it's like. No, no, I am done. Rich the kid, Rich the kid. You're lying. You like the picture. You sent the, the heart emojis. That, that means you love the picture. So why are you talking about you don't like it anymore? You definitely clicked on that picture. You definitely screenshot that cover or art and you did whatever you needed to do with it. You were definitely, you were master. You were master, but listen, I don't think it's smart for you to be sending your cover art. If you haven't even gotten paid for it, I don't care if it, the artist is big or not. I don't think it's smart for you to be sending your, worth, your work without some type of a protection on it. It wasn't watermarked or anything like that. So it's kind of like, you know, you also didn't protect yourself. So that couldn't happen to you. But moving right along. So it looks like your girl Cardi B is getting her own little TV series. Cardi do get on my nerves sometimes. But I will say that her personality, we know, is funny. So I think she will definitely make for some good ass TV. Are you to be a Okay, so it's her own little Facebook uh, series going on, and I'm definitely gonna be tuning in because, like I said, Cardi's personality is bomb. She's definitely funny. Now, let's get into the baby and Danny Lynn. why are you allowing him to treat you like that now i know his baby mother says she ain't going nowhere usually the baby mothers always say they ain't going anywhere okay but you you ain't a baby mama why are you dealing with this and mimi shouldn't be dealing with it either but she's the one who says she ain't never going anywhere so that's why i'm skipping past her and going to danny what what are you doing and this guy clearly clearly shows you that he has no level of respect for you no level that it just goes to show you that no matter how beautiful someone is no matter how successful someone is motherfuckers really be having low self-esteem that's why I don't look at anyone and praise anyone's life because everybody shows you what they want to show you. I know I show you guys what I want to show you. So I know other people are doing the same exact thing. So I don't look at anybody and praise their life. This is a young 25 year old successful woman and she has a guy that has no respect for her grabbing up her hair and you can obviously obviously see that she was uncomfortable and she wanted him to get off her hair and she put her hands on top of his head, um, head to give him a hit and he didn't care i don't get it danny ain't no d in the world ain't no d in the world that good to have no ninja grabbing up on my hair and playing me like the way he played you i'm sorry Mm -mm. Girl, you gotta get your life. 
you got to get show alive. Now, y'all, I don't know if y'all have been getting into Atlanta Housewives, but Drew Sedora is on Atlanta Housewives, and um, she is already exposing what's going on in her marriage. And I'm not going to necessarily say she, but her and her husband are ex exposing what's going on in their marriage. Now, I personally think the man is cheating, if you ask me. And the reason why I say I think he's cheating is because the conversation that he had with Cynthia's, uh, I don't know if it's Cynthia's fiance or husband, whatever he is, uh, but the conversation that he had with on um, that man, uh, I personally you know, focused in on his wording. And he said that when him and his wife aren't necessarily on good terms, he disappears. And I'm just like, well, that don't sound right. If you in a happy, healthy marriage, you don't just disappear for days. You don't do that. So I personally think the man is cheating. And also, I think that Drew Sedora knows that her husband is cheating. And now I don't, I'm not gonna say that she's okay with it, but I think that she knows and um, she's just building a case. Like she's acting like she's the feds and she's building a case against him. I don't know, like I said, I don't know if you guys watched the episode, but in the episode, <clears throat> she did ask him where he went. He kept going around in circles. He being around the bush, did not want to answer the question. Then when he finally said where he went, he said he went to, well, he originally said he went to the beach, and then he finally said he went to Tampa, and they live in Atlanta. So she's like, wait, so you skipped three beaches to go to an ocean? Like, that makes no sense. So she's putting two and two together. So I definitely think she knows that he's cheating. But listen, I hope they're not doing this for TV because even though like I don't really know Drew Sedora besides the whole Durin and Melanie situation, the game, um, that don't look good. It ain't, it don't look good. I'm sorry. I'm not here for it. I'm, I'm not here for that. But I've said enough. Comment down below and let me know your thoughts on this whole Vanessa Bryant situation. What do you think about her mother? Because I'm sorry. She thrasha. She's thrasha. Let me know. Are you excited for Cardi B's little Facebook series? I'm definitely excited to see Cardi B spread her wings. How do you guys feel about Rich the Kid and this graphic designer? Do you feel like she kind of is to blame as well as rich the kid is for not being paid for her work that she sent him unprotected because i kind of do i kind of do i can tell you no lie also let me know what do you think about this whole lizzo situation do you think that the people who say they're her fans are just doing a little bit too much like people should be able to live their lives right yes I agree. So comment down below and let me know your thoughts on everything. Don't forget to share, like, subscribe, turn on your notification bells. I love y'all. Also follow me on Instagram at Love Love Lloyd. And as always, remember to live love you. Bye guys.